Hi, friends. Today's story is called City Mouse and Country Mouse. There once was a happy, there was once a happy little country mouse who lived in a big wheat field. In the summer, she feasted on grains of wheat or bits of bread from the farmer's lunch boxes. When the weather grew cold, she moved into the farmer's house and picked up bits of cake and bread and cheese that the cook dropped in the kitchen floor on the kitchen floor. These she stored away or she kept them safe in her little mouse hole in the attic until she had a good supply for the winter. One winter's day, Country Mouse's cousin, City Mouse, came to visit. Country Mouse took City Mouse to see her attic pantry. Proudly, she showed him the mounds of cheese bits, the heaps of bread and cake crumbs, and the neat piles of nuts and dried peas. But after City Mouse had eaten a hearty, hearty dinner, he wiped his whiskers and said, you poor thing. So is this the way you live on dried up leftovers? Come with me to the city and I will show you a real feast. Country Mouse immediately felt ashamed of her simple home. She wanted to see if her cousin's life was as, as grand as he said. So she went with him to the city. City Mouse led the way into a huge brick home, up a great staircase, and into a dining room. The rich people who lived in the big house were just having dinner, so the two little mice hid behind the door. Keep very still, said the City Mouse. When they leave the table, we can have all the food that is left. The eyes of the little country mouse grew big and round, for she had never seen so much food in her whole life. She stood very still. Then she heard the feet scuffle and chairs scraping as the big people left the table. Come on, squeaked City Mouse, peeking cautiously, very carefully, right and left. And then he led the way across the room. He hopped onto a chair and from the chair onto the table. Country Mouse scampered along behind him. Country Mouse took a long look around her at the table still crowded with good things and, a, and sighed a deep, happily sigh. Oh, this is wonderful, she said, taking a big bite of cheese. You live just like a prince. She scarcely finished speaking when a snarling cat pounced onto the table. Then the cook ran into the room shouting and waving a big spoon. Then two dogs came in barking fiercely. Then there was a terrible ruckus. In the midst of it, the two mice skittered down to the floor and dodged into a handy hole. We'll wait until it's quiet again and we'll go back for some more whispered City Mouse, but his country cousin shoved her head firmly. We'll wait until it's quiet again, and then I'll go home for fa as fast as I can. You're welcome to all this fine food you can get, my friend. I'm sorry, you are welcome to all the fine food you can get, my friend. As for me, I prefer my dry crust in my peaceful attic. What did you think of this story, friends? Talk to someone at your home. Do you think that it's better for a mouse to live in a city or to live in a country? Have fun talking about your story with a family member. Take care, friends. Bye.